Hey everyone, my name's Harold, and I work at Hunch, which in New York City, it recently became part of eBay. So I'm gonna talk about something New York City related, uh, specifically the Manhattan Grid, which I kind of extended to the entire Earth. So the Manhattan Grid started, or it was planned in 1811, but at that point it was really just an imaginary grid of 155 streets and 12 avenues. But it ended up becoming a real grid if you visit Manhattan today, it's all there. Uh, and so early on, it was imaginary, sort of, like I said, so you'd have these strange avenues with almost no buildings on them, and further up, the avenues didn't even exist yet. So what I've built is, 200 years later, in 2011, an imaginary grid of 254,000 streets and 160,000 avenues, and all it really is is the existing Manhattan grid, but I just keep all the lines going and just add more streets. So uh, this is the website. It agrees with the Manhattan grid in Manhattan. So there's First Street and First Avenue, and it just looks normal. The blue lines are streets and avenues. But if we zoom out a bit, you can see like Brooklyn. So I can be like, oh yeah, my friends in Brooklyn, they live way out on East 16th Avenue and like South 64th Street. Uh, and we can actually, go anywhere, so we could go to like, right here in San Francisco. It's uh, South 14,470th Street and 15,000th Avenue. Uh, so the way I did this is I essentially street treated avenues a lot like lines of longitude, so they're geodesics, and streets are like lines of latitude, which are great or not great circles, just circles. Uh, so you can see further out here, um, San Francisco and New York again. A uh, cool thing about lines of longitude and geodesics in general, but lines of longitude all converge at the North Pole, so that means avenues all converge in Manhattan's North Pole, which is Kazakhstan, uh, so you can see that there. Um, that was an interesting side effect, but I, that's just what happens if you line things up. Uh, and these things appear curved because we're on a Mercator projection, but they're actually straight lines on a sphere, just like uh, airline paths appear curved on a Mercator projection. So Mercator projection is all about making latitude and longitude appear to be straight. So there's the equator. Uh, the South Pole is just in the South Pacific. Uh, not as interesting. But uh, I made a similar map just for this talk, actually. This is like a Mercator projection, but with Manhattan at the center, and it makes streets and avenues straight. So at the top, you see the like grossly stretched out North Pole of Manhattan, aka Kazakhstan. Uh, you can see that the avenue in San Francisco and First Avenue are parallel, and the streets are parallel, and all avenues converge at the top in Kazakhstan. Uh, so a lot of people, this one kind of viral, uh, which was fun, uh, a lot of people compared it to this New Yorker cover from 1976 called View of the World from Ninth Avenue, which shows Ninth Avenue and then 10th Avenue and then somewhere there's New Jersey and then off in the distance is like Japan and the rest of the world. And this whole website's really a joke about New York being the center of the world. Uh, here's someone tweeting about it. If Saul Steinberg was a nerdy, humorless cartographer who created maps for retweets instead of New Yorker covers, uh, extendny.com. So I thought that was funny. But some nicer tweets were people all over the world just sharing where they are on this imaginary grid, which was really cool. It, it was really fun to see this like spreading. And, and I think for this conference, it's interesting to think about like a kind of inherent power of maps is, for one thing, everyone understands maps. Like, I didn't need to translate this website or anything. People just seem to get it. And um, also, everyone is on the map. Like, you're, by creating a map, you're fundamentally kind of including everyone on Earth. Uh, so it, people all over the world seem to find this interesting. And even up at the North Pole, uh, Kazakhstan, I got nine hits. Uh, so sort of like a visit from Santa Claus or something. Uh, and yeah, that's about it.